Hi crafty friends, Amanda here with Crafting with Amanda and welcome. And today is another layout of this never ending Aspen Papers. I'm hoping actually today I'm going to get my craft on and I'll be able to use some of it up. So I'm showing you here in the new seasonal January to March uh, Close to My Heart idea book. They have this wonderful stamp set with all the planets called Over the Moon. But I went and looked at my stamp sets and I have a stamp with Saturn on it. And then just today I found another stamp with the Earth on it. And that was from the old Timberline collection. So if you have that stamp set, Timberline Scrapbook Workshop, you have a planet stamp of the Earth. And then I pulled out my Out of This World, which has that Saturn on it. And then I went through my stamps and I pulled out a bunch of stars. And from the Cricut collection, I think you are here, there was the globe um, that I had cut out for a previous project, but the colors are gonna work. So I just pulled that from my embellishment stash and away we go, as they say. So here I'm just, I'm looking at my four photos that I have from the Griffith Observatory. This is in Los Angeles. Um, our first visit to Los Angeles a year before we moved there, almost exactly a year before we moved there, not knowing that's what was going to happen. Uh, we went and visited this and the kids just had a lot of fun. Uh, a, we have the photo with the Hollywood sign in the background. I think I've already scrapbooked that. This is inside the observatory where they have some, um, oh, I can't think what they're called, displays and interaction. Um, things set up so that you can see what you would weigh on different planets based on their gravitational pull and it just a whole bunch of information and we are total geeks about collecting that information and reading those placards and participating in the interactive displays so we just really had a nice time it was just the kids and I my husband was working unfortunately so again my this is the biggest piece of the Aspen papers that I have left so I've decided I'm going to use it and almost make a collage, making these all one big or very large photo. And I'm just looking at where I want to cut it off and I realize I need to take an inch and a half off. So I'm doing that now. But I just, going back to looking at what the new stamps are, if you don't have stamps that have planets and, and it's something that you could use and you know the over the moon is something I love you to the moon and back and all of those things um, go ahead and get the stamp set it's on page 49 of the January to March idea book but if you have some older stamps that are in your stash you know yeah it might take a little bit of effort to pull Saturn from here and the earth from there and you can use the the background on one of the I think it's the storybook card making it had those um, lines dash lines in a circle and I thought even that could look like a planet because it's just something that has texture in a circle so I'm just auditioning some of the pieces parts that I have from my leftover collection and the embellishments that I've done on other projects I'm going to tuck things in and try different layers and it's just not working for me so then I kind of come to I'm gonna do some embossing I haven't done that in a while so that's what I'm gonna do I took my embossing buddy bag as you saw there and that just makes sure that there's no oils from fingerprints or other glue stuff on the background that's going to change how the embossing powder attaches to this paper I did speed up this process a little bit because I'm just stamping different elements that I found from different stamps. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'm going to invite you to do that now. There's also a bell notification that if you click on the bell anytime that I post a new video, which is three times a week, typically Tuesday, Friday, Sundays, sometimes Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, sometimes Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, but um, it'll let you know when I have posted something so you don't miss out on anything. I also do scrapbooking is my main focus, but I do some cards as well. And I also try to every once in a while throw in a cool paper craft. In fact, that's coming up on Sunday. I think it's the 15th. 
um, for Makers with Heart. My project is a cool paper craft that you could give as a gift for Valentine's Day or even looking ahead for Mother's Day. It would be kind of a cool thing for that. So be sure to check that out on Sunday the 15th. And I know I'm one of those that love watching the changing from the dry embossing powders to the shiny metallic finish of the embossing powders once you add heat. So I'm leaving this in here so you can kind of see the transition. And it's funny, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking about that there's still too much open area, too much of that dark outdoor denim background and so I decided to just take my fingers and sprinkle without having an adhesive the powder right on top of the paper and it's hard to see in the video but in real life it gives it kind of that milky um, star dust kind of feel so I heat from the bottom because again I don't have any um, adhesive element holding it to the top of the page so I want to heat it a little bit so it doesn't blow around and then I come around top to finish it so you can kind of it almost looks like it's dirt on there but to me it gives it that starry milky look that you sometimes see in the sky this shining moments title came from something I thought I was going to use on a scrapbook layout for Christmas and didn't I don't know if you caught earlier I cut the globe parts off just so that I have the planet Earth. I know it doesn't look the same as the gold planets in the background, but for me it just it color-wise it ties in great. And then I love these metallic markers. They're the Spec Spectrum Noir metallics and they write on anything. Um dark card cardstock they write on plastic. Uh, I've just had great luck with them. You'll see here that I'm going ahead and writing Griffith, Griffith Observatory, Los Angeles, California. And then I include the date on this when I do my journaling. But I'll show you, I keep that gold pen out so you can see what I do with it as well. I do want to remind you to check out in the description under the video the other creators that are making things in Baby Got Scraps Hop. There'll be a link to those that are participating. Some are, are participating every day during January. Some are just participating when they can. I know for me, I'm trying to use up all of this Aspen paper, and then I'll probably start into some new fresh paper packs. Yay! So I, those won't be Baby Got Scraps layouts, but they will be, um, like I said, I post three times a week. And here I'm just talking about how that we all enjoyed the planetarium and the observatory and we watched uh, one of the programs that they have. We actually purchased um, membership because my husband is staying, he's been back and forth to California and he'll be staying in a hotel just a couple miles away from the observatory and he likes to go up and do those kind of things and is very interested in rocket launches and such so uh, he's he's looking forward to actually maybe taking some of their evening classes so here I decided I was gonna do the edges and I thought maybe I could do just the edge but instead I'm try I'm gonna try to make it look almost like um, it's embossed on the edge so I'm taking that paper that I'd use to collect the embossing powders and my straight edge and I'm just making it's like a sixteenth of an inch line right on the edge of the outdoor denim paper and you can kind of see it here but in real life it really stands out and especially if you're in any kind of light it just has that nice shine to it and it just kind of frames everything in and, and completes the layout. You could have also done uh, cut a sixteenth, not a sixteenth, a quarter inch off two of the sides or an eighth of an inch off all four sides and matted it with gold behind it. But I think this pen just works. It really makes it come together. So here you can see some close-ups of that dust cloud, the stardust that I did by just sprinkling without any adhesive. You can see our kids are totally enthralled in these exhibits. That's the word I was looking for earlier. I hope that you enjoy this. If you do, go ahead and for free, you can help me out by giving a thumbs up to this video or sharing it. You can subscribe, which also helps. That's how you can connect with me on social media. Here's another video that you may be interested in. Be kind to yourself and others. Be a blessing. Take care.